This is a unboxing of an eyepiece, and I guess it is a butter 18 millimeter um, orthoscopic, classic orthoscopic eyepiece. So let's open it. I have now opened it. I put the packaging aside, and uh, yeah, butter classic ortho ocular means eyepiece 18 millimeter. Okay, and uh, let's open and see. This is inside the package. I leave it to uh, cut when I was trying to cut the package, but that means it was well packed, tightly packed. Double packaging, so good point. Again, the same butter classic ortho eyepiece, 18 millimeter. So really well packed. That's the cap for the eyepiece, and this is the bottom cap. This is the eye guard or wing. This goes over here. It came off. I have to put it back. But anyways, you see the eyepiece. Very clear. I have another one of these. That's the reason I bought this one. I wanted to use it in a Sky Watcher Binavir. So let's do this. Uh, but before that, I put the wing back. As you can see, this is a really good eyepiece. I have uh, used it and I'm really happy with the quality. Key turret IP set involves also a, a, a Q turret in a gift pack, as you can see, a team. And when you open this, among the other stuff that is there, um, there is a 32 millimeter, of course, 18 millimeter, 10 millimeter, and uh, um, 6 millimeter, plus uh, also a Barlow. So I'm going now for the 18 millimeter one, and well packaged actually. Okay, that's the 18 millimeter one. So I'm taking this out. Compare it with this one. You can see. So I put the lead back. So this is the one I received now, and this is the one I already had. As you can see, the coating in this one is a little bit better or is it because the reflection from the yellow flowers that we have here could be so mm, I can say that let me change the position of them okay the coating in this is a uh, more quality uh, redder and this one is a bit greener so it may have been the age related item but anyway both of them are bothered, both of them are good quality, and I'm going to attach them to the binary viewer. Okay, this is the binary viewer, and this is the original uh, eyepiece that I had. I have to loosen this a little bit so it can actually go in. Yeah, it goes in now. Uh, this one the same. Turn it this way, I think. Yeah, let me do this by other hand. So both of them are attached now, as you can see. And this is the binary viewer. Looks really good. And this is one of the best eyepieces you can get uh, in this range. Uh, field of view around 50 degrees. And uh, the good thing about it is that it has a from edge to edge, the image is uh, uniform. You don't see any distortion, astigmatism, you know, deformation, edge of uh, field deformation, anything like that. No way in this eyepiece is orthoscopic, so practically you don't get that. As you can see, I've now installed it on the 
Voyager, Bushnell Voyager Family Telescope. And you can't really hold it well. So that's the way it is. I'm really happy this Bushnell is really good quality, can hold anything. I've used the heavier eyepieces on this with the binder viewer and it can hold it. I just added the foam instead of the felts on the base.
what you can see there in the center is the Copernicus crater. To the right of it is the Kepler crater. And the dot, tiny dot, to the right of that Kepler, near the edge of the white area, where the down to it here, a little bit lower, is a black dot, that's Grimaldi. That tiny white dot is the uh, magnetic anomaly called the uh, Rainer Gamma, or Rainer Gamma. As you can see, the thin layer of cloud is exists in the sky. It's moving. It's mist, practically. And, uh, yeah, the Italy-shaped uh, area to the top uh, is the Jura Mountains and uh, and you can see a tiny dot also in the Jura Mountains called Plateau actually Crater Plateau the Philosopher The bright dot to the two o'clock in this image, if you imagine the top part is 12 and lower part is 6, at two o'clock of the image in the middle of the, in, in somewhere in the black patch, the white dot is Aristarchus and the area around it is Aristarchus Plateau, the volcanic area. Yes, the clouds are making it really darker. Don't do this what it actually should be. Yeah, and the circular feature, black circular feature on the top at twelve o'clock is, um, is the big black circle. Uh, is the Mare uh, um, Imbrium, Sea of the Rains, and uh, to the lower part of it, at 7 o'clock of that circle, what you can see is the mountains of the Apennine, Ape yeah, Apennine. 